Hi friends, in a SQLite database, we sometimes use an integer column with a primary key and we also we add auto increment ID to the same column. What's the basic difference between this? Whenever a, we add a record, SQLite uniquely identify the row by adding a row ID to the specific column. And similarly, if you use auto increment ID also, the same thing happens. What is the basic difference between these two and when we should use it and when we should not use this. We will learn all about this but before that my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let us start the script. We are in our collab platform. Let us first create our database. So for that import SQLite 3. Now next let us create the connection object. This will also create our uh, database. So SQLite3.connect. What should be my database name? MyDB.db. .db. You can give whatever name you want. Now once it is over let us give a command that you know it is a uh, connected to database connect or anything whatever message you want to give you can give it now let's just see what the database will be created our database will be created here let's first run this see here that this database is connected uh, sqlite 3 has no connect in an ect fine let's run this yeah so now our database should be created here. Let me refresh it. Yeah, my db.db is here. Now we'll create the table inside this database. So for that, my connection, what you have declared above, execute. Now inside this execute command will three. Now this is a string we are writing, multi-line string. So we'll say create table. This is a query I am writing if not exist. Next line I am coming if not exist. Now student not exist. Student is my table name. Now inside that what I will be creating is ID. Then I am giving the name as integer. Now here I am using primary key and not using auto increment. It is just a integer column and it is a primary key. So I am giving a comma coming to the next line. So id then I am giving name it is a text then I am giving class class 3, 4, 5 whatever I want to keep it text. Now next one is mark this is an integer column comma then gender this is also text. Now here this is the last one so I am not putting. Now after this first one I am giving 1, 2, 3. Fine that should uh, be fine now. I have started here. This I have ended. So execute if uh, fine. So this once I run this, this table should be created inside my database. So for that my connection execute. Now let me okay let us run this and see if any error is there. Fine, no error. So this table is created now. Let's add one more code block here and this also will remove. Now here let's insert one record. So I will create a query for that. My query equal to now I will say insert into now I am continuing with this. So next line I am going insert into so line continuation insert into a where I will insert student student is my table name now what are the columns so the sequence I am maintaining name class then mark then gender I am not using the ID column here just note that I have ID but I am not specifying that so I am giving you here so insert into name class this is fine now I will next line I am going so values what are the values I will use it so for that I will say anything I can give say new name sorry I should close the it's a string now then which class I have to maintain the thing then mark in, in place of mark I am giving a integer value 65 then gender let me give female so this matches name here class mark gender so all are available now here 
So fine, that's uh, my query is over. Now this query I will use. So I'm saying record set, R set, I'm uh, my connection. This is what I have created at the top at line number two. This my connection, I am using it. My connection execute. Execute, then my query. Here I am writing the query. The variable I have used it. Now, what once it is inserted, what I am going to do is print R set last row ID. We'll shortly understand what it is. So now let's run this and see if there is any error. Fine, it returns me one. See this at the bottom, it is showing me one. One means the row which was added, this ID column, this ID has column has got the value of one because I have not given, but SQLite has uh, on its own has given the ID, uh, ID column the value as one. Now we can also verify that. Let's check it and see what uh, we'll try to list this record. So for that, I am, what I'm going to do is writing a, once more a query, <coughs> select star from uh, student. Student is my table name. Now here my data equal to list. I'm creating a list out of it. So I'll easily print it. My connection dot execute. Now what is that query I'm using? So now this what happened my data got the value. Now print my data. So that will tell me what are the records I have added now the full thing. You can see that it started with ID one. This is the ID what it has given. Now this has given me the uh, one record. Now what happens if I run it again? Now what will happen? Same thing record, again it will be inserted. So that time the ID should change to two. You see this ID is given as returned as two. Now if I'll run this particular one, it will show me two records. Just see this is the first record and this is the second record with ID is equal to two. Let's run this for two more times. So once more, so it is ID is three is there and again I am running. So ID fourth is come. So now if I will run this one, I should get able to get four records. One rec ID two, ID three and one more is ID four here. I can scroll here. Yeah. So these four uh, records are there. Now what I will do, I will delete one the last record. So let me just move up. Now here I am writing a query. <coughs> delete from student where id equal to 4 the so last record i am deleting now what happens with this my okay let me execute this my data equal to my connection execute query now <coughs> this will give me the output of it so there is nothing to get so let me just check it with us. so what will happen is in this case this will remove one last record from there so let's just run this and see okay so it has given me that it has deleted now i can check it also here yeah you can see up to three because fourth record is deleted now let me just try to insert it again one more record I, once more i'll record what will be the id of that record so one two three fourth one i have deleted now let me run it so here is again in short see this this id it has given the fourth because fourth record was not there now if i'll check it verify it here also you can see the again the record id 4 is assigned to the new record now in this certain situation this may create a problem because you don't want that once a suppose a student or a number you are creating as they are taking admission somebody has left it but you don't want that same id to be assigned to another one that will create a lot of other problems so you don't want that id 4 to be used again so in that case what you will do is we will change this to primary key because it is a declared as a primary key uh, this automatically the highest row id it gives but it conserves it means if a, a row id is uh, deleted then it assigned it now if i can specifically tell uh, 
SQLite that don't assign it is a one for once for all if ID is remove also go for the next one keep a track of what is the maximum ID even if it is removed and don't use it again so for that we will say auto increment we will add this word auto increment but it takes little resources so if it is not required what SQLite uh, suggests that don't use it if it is not necessary our if our situation requires that so, but what happens now we have to create again the table because we have already table we have created so let's add one more code block to drop the table so we'll create it again so for that let me just copy this paste it here instead of delete i am writing drop drop table student so this will remove the student table fine now let me fine so it is table is dropped now let's create it now this time we are creating the table with auto increment so let me create this uh, m e n t fine let me okay so the table is created now let me add one record to that one second one third one fourth one i have added now what i can do is i can run this and see okay all the four records are there now let me delete the fourth one so this is the code block so i am removed the fourth one now now just to verify there should be three records fine one two three now let's insert it and see what happens now this should not be four it should give us the five see this it has because the fourth record we have deleted because of this property auto increment it is no more the fourth id is gone fourth id will not be used in the same database same table so the next valid id is fifth is used that is the basic difference between auto increment with auto increment and without auto increment our id will always if you if you say id integer primary key automatically it keeps gets the highest one but it reuses the if it is vacantly or if it is available whereas by specifying auto increment we are exclusively telling that use unique id even if it is deleted use the highest id that's all friends hope you have understood this concept and if you have any doubts, suggestions, questions, use the comment section below to post it. And my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching.